Hi, this is Miss Delosier, and these are your notes on nucleic acids. Um, so, you guys probably know what nucleic acids are, but we're going to do like a super quick review. Uh, so, nucleic acids are our DNA, right? Uh, so, they're DNA and RNA specifically. So, you're, they're your hereditary information, it's not just DNA. Um, and they're made of monomers uh, of nucleotides. So, technically, a nucleic acid is a polymer. Um, I did say that everything except lipids was going to be polymer. So they're made of monomers of nucleotides. So we probably need to look at what a, a nucleotide is. So let's let's go ahead and let's draw out a nucleotide. Um, so a nucleotide is made up of a sugar, um, a phosphate group, and a nitrogenous base. Um, and I'm going to be lame, and that's that's really it for my my night night for my nitrogenous base. Um, nitrogenous bases, you probably have, you probably don't recognize that, that word, but uh, if I say adenine, guanine, thymine, and cytosine, you probably know what I'm talking about, right? So um, when you actually look at a nucleic acid, the polymer, what you end up with is the phosphate um, and the sugar of a single nucleotide is then going to, um, be bound to, well, let's go back, we don't actually need that yet, is going to be bound to um, the, the uh, so I have phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar, phosphate, sugar. And so what you're doing is you're forming this covalent bond right here through dehydration synthesis. So um, so that's that's what's happening. The, the bond between the bottom of the sugar molecule and, and the top of the next phosphate. That is happening through dehydration synthesis. So that's the basic backbone of a nucleic acid. So, all right, so there's five types of, nitrog of nitrogen bases. There's five types of nitrogenous bases. Um, and I, I just said four of them. We have adenine and thymine, we have guanine and cytosine, and then we have uracil. Now, adenine always pairs with thymine in DNA. Guanine always pairs with cytosine, always. And uracil is a weirdo because it's not present in DNA. So um, uh, one of the other words that you might see when you're reading in the textbook is that adenine and guanine are purines. And I actually remember this. This is weird. Um, don't tell your college professors this. But adenine and guanine are pure nines. Like if you take, uh, if you take the R, and you make it in, if you take this R right here in purines and you make it into an N, it's pure nines, right? And adenine and guanine. That's how I remember it. Um, it's just how I remember it. If it helps you, great. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, and then thymine, so the, the adenine and guanine are double ring molecules. And then thymine, cytosine, and uracil are pyrimidines, which is just a bigger word, which is weird because those are all single ring structures. Um, and so those, that's what the nitrogen bases look like. Um, they are just carbon rings with some nitrogen in there. And so uh, let's go ahead and let's review really quick which ones are in DNA and which ones are in RNA. So in DNA, I have uh, double-stranded DNA and I'm gonna have A, T, G, and C. So I have adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, right? Um, and RNA is going to be single-stranded, right? Uh, all, all three forms of RNA that you talked about in ninth grade biology are, are going to be um, a single strand of RNA, although it might fold in on itself. And those are going to be um, A, U, G, and C. So they use adenine, uracil, guanine, and cytosine. Um, so that's, that's it. Those are your notes on nucleic acids. They're super fast. Um, so that's kind of the reward for some of the longer ones. Uh, if you have any questions about DNA or RNA, or you just want to chat about some DNA or RNA technology, that's kind of my jam. So make an appointment and we'll talk.